From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today, the rare appearance of the sun. Been shining all day in the tri-state, no clouds expected and no rain for a change. First time seems like in a long while. Unfortunately, Fox 19 Storm Tracker forecast says the clear skies are not going to last. We expect clouds to roll back in tonight and then on and off showers tomorrow as it stays cool in the tri-state. Today's high headed for 66. A lot of interest today in the budget battle in Columbus. The House is expected to vote today on the budget for the next two years. It's a package that calls for cutting $7.7 billion from the state budget in order to balance it. Ohio Governor John Kasich has given us his proposals. Now lawmakers in the House are making some changes. One of the changes has to do with how the casinos in the state would be taxed when they open late next year or the following year. There's some concern that it could cause the casino developers to scale back their projects. We'll be watching that vote today in Columbus along with another amendment that's causing some controversy in Cincinnati. There was $66 million in the Ohio budget to fund replacement of the 6th Street Viaduct a bridge from the west side that is said to be deteriorating. However, a lawmaker from Fayette County now in Upper Ohio has put an amendment onto the budget which says that the money for the viaduct replacement won't be handed out by the state unless the city of Cincinnati agrees to allow a barge company to put a depot on the riverfront in Queenscape. That's a battle that's been going on for over six years. Cincinnati leaders call it basically extortion. We'll see if the amendment's defeated today. 700 WOW's Matt Bruning will be covering the budget battle in Columbus, the vote that's expected late today. Also supposed to be a big protest in Columbus over the budget today, featuring labor, education, and public service groups. Cincinnati's mayor in court this morning, this over the lawsuit he's filed against his own city. Mark Mallory's received a lot of criticism for taking the city to court over his $500 car allowance fee. Judge Norbert Nadel has been assigned that case in Hamilton County. 700 WOW Reds update. Great afternoon for baseball. The Reds try to take the rubber game from the Astros this afternoon. Airtime with the first pitch is 12.35 today. Pre-game activity started at 11.35 on 700 WLW. Homer Bailey's back with the big club. He started the year on the disabled list, makes his first start for the Reds this afternoon. It's going to be a lot of afternoon baseball for a while in the big one. They head for Chicago next with day games planned Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today, Cinco de Mayo and Reds reliever. Araldus Chapman has picked up his first big endorsement deal. He's featured in a commercial for Pepto-Bismol this 5th of May. Features him on the mound throwing a 105-mile-an-hour fastball at the plate towards a piñata. Then he explodes Rodas Chapman, one of the Reds' bright spots this season, giving up just a run and 11 appearances.